And here we go down the field, well, down the road, next to the field, over a bridge. Oh my gosh, what are we doing? Guy on a motorcycle. There's the spousey wousey. Hi, spousey. Here's the uh, entrance to Liberty Lake in the New Jersey Renaissance. That's right, the New Jersey Renaissance Fair takes place at the Liberty Lake campground land place property. Something Pick like that. Road. Pick yeah, Pigby Road. Well, anyway. So there is Spousy Wazzy again. And we've got our little boy who is I think starting to wake up a little bit. Yes. A sea monkey. And then there is me, and I'm wearing sunglasses. Future's so bright, you gotta wear shades. Uh, it's not a matter of gotta wear shades, it's a matter of I wanted to protect my eyes from the sun and still be able to see what's around me because these are prescription. I can't wear contact lenses. Kinda sucks. Anyway. Pretty farmland, pretty farmland where they grow. I'm not sure what they're growing right now. Soybean. Soybean. Hopefully it's not the genetically modified crap. See the cows. I don't see the cow. Oh, there's the cows. There's cows. Where's the thingy? Holsteins. Oh, it tried zooming and it didn't zoom. Now I'm mad. Oh well. That's corn. Feed corn. Feed corn. What's the difference? What's the difference? Yeah, what's the difference between corn and feed corn? Turn right at the light. You want to want to eat feed corn. Why? It's the same kind of corn that's in the bird feed. Okay, so it's... Turn... I said turn right. You turned left. Left. Okay, my husband is having a hard time determine, determining what is left and what is right. <laughs> oh my god. Never knew right from wrong. Sure you have. Married you, didn't I? Don't even get me started. What about the corn, baby? That's right, that's corn growing out there. And we can turn around up here somewhere. We need to turn around. Ooh, there's a party going on. I think we should turn around here and uh, get a burger. I don't think so because I don't know those people. And, uh, they don't know me and they don't even look like they know me. Nothing against those people. I'm sure they're very, very nice. I'm sure they are. There is a parking lot up here, I think. Yes. Right. Pull into the parking lot. Here we go. Pulling into a parking lot. And for those of you who are curious, we are in Florence Township, the beautiful Florence Township. David Hutchison. Uh, yeah, no thanks. <laughs> oh my gosh. Looks like his mother. I know a guy that knows a guy. I know a guy who could do this for you. No, thank you, really. I shouldn't be saying that. Ugh. Starting over. I'm gonna start it over. Hi. Hi. Spousy. And it's a beautiful Saturday afternoon it here. It is a beautiful Saturday afternoon in this gorgeous place called Florence. As we go motoring. Township. Motoring. Motoring. Okay, now that I've gotten that out of my system. And Where's the go. sea monkey? Baby sea monkey. Baby sea monkey. Hi, baby sea monkey. Hi, baby monkey. That's right. That was our sea monkey. So today, um, we got to see Andre Gardner and John DeBella, and I didn't get a chance to say hi to Jen Posner, but that's okay. It was fun. As briefly as we were there, it was still fun. Um, Radio personalities from a Philadelphia radio station. Yes, called WMGK. And they did something at the Cooper River Park to celebrate the Jersey tomato. 
something that should have been started a long, long time ago. And we have a light. And we have to stop at the light. Now. I found an ambulance. There's an ambulance coming by. There's an ambulance coming by. There's an ambulance There's view going here. by. Well, since the lights are not flashing, I'm guessing it was not an emergency of any kind. <sighs> so. <sighs> but it is a beautiful day on Saturday. It is approximately 10 minutes after 5 o'clock on the East Coast. I think that I should reach over. That's right. I just gave my son pizza because he needs Real to eat pizza. pizza. Delicious pizza from a place in downtown Mount Holly called La Vita's. And there's also one in Morristown, but the one in Morristown is on vacation. Boo hoo. Anyway. And we are crossing the turnpike. The turnpike. The turnpike. Counting the cars on the New Jersey Turnpike. They're all off to look for a miracle. And you get extra credit <laughs> for knowing what I was singing about. Oh, you also get extra credit if you know who sang that song originally. Ta-da. Ta-da-la, ta-da-la. I don't think that line was in the song. No, it wasn't. I just felt like that. Actually, that that line is from a poem called "The Highwayman," which happened to have been one of my grandfather's favorite poems. And he was amazed that somebody was able to turn it into a song. Her name is Lorena McKennett, and she's awesome. And you need to slow down. Oh my gosh! Stevie Nicks also did a song about the Highwayman. That poem, though. Not that poem. Well, there you go. Look, look at all the American flags. Look at the little pony! I didn't see, did the, see little, the pony. I did not see the pony. Ah. Man. Anyway, so we have things that we need to talk about that we haven't talked about yet because I haven't brought them up yet. Sweet beans. Sweet beans. Sweet sauce. Sweet sauce. Yeah. Anyway. So, oh, it's the sweet beans. Look at all the sweet beans. Mm, I'd rather not. Anyway, we were driving to the Cooper River Park earlier, and we were going down a stretch of um, Route 130, and there's a Pearl Vision that uh, apparently, if you go in there, they can make sure uh, we're that way. They can uh, make sure you have glasses ready for you within an hour. Nobody's coming. And I don't know if it's true or not. I don't know if they're any good. But then that reminded me that I actually need to go get my eyes examined. I really do need to get new glasses. What do you say about that? Definitely. Glasses. Well, the thing is, though, our insurance... Uh, go straight. Our insurance doesn't cover... Um, why is the camera on me? Hi, everybody. Because you're driving and I didn't feel like having it on me anymore. Uh, <laughs> so. Mama. So. Mama. What's up, Bubba? Huh? What's up? Camera's on you, baby. Yeah, At the stop sign, you're going to go right. I guess Matthew doesn't have much to say. So, the stop sign. Um, so now it's a matter of we have to figure out our budget so we can figure out what we can afford and what we can't afford. And I keep putting off getting new glasses and I keep putting off getting sneakers because I need sneakers. I'm going to need to get sneakers for our little guy too very soon. Um, you're going to go that way on the other side of this bridge. Um,
occurred to me that we really actually do need to sit down and come up with a, a monthly budget. And we just haven't done it. And I don't know if it's because it's something that neither one of us really understands very well or if it's something where we know what needs to be paid but it's just made it so hard that we are not able sorghum 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 there's a field over here of something called sorghum and somehow we managed to plant sorghum in our yard or it randomly just grew. or it randomly grew there and we don't know how or why about three miles from home something like that so that is sorghum another name for sorghum is broom corn which is very very interesting it is a green you can eat it you can feed it to livestock so I, I'm wondering if that's why they're I'm wondering if that's why they planted it to use as feed because that's one of its many uses um, but sorghum, you make molasses with it, and well, I don't know about you, but I like molasses cookies. Anyway, back to the other topic, which is writing a budget, something that I have to learn how to do because I feel that as a homemaker, um, which is a stay-at-home mom or a stay-at-home dad, Yes, I'm all over the place. I've been told that I have ADHD. I don't know. Oh, look, a butterfly. Um, Oops. More sword over there. Anyway, back to talking about budgets. I would love to get some good advice or suggestions. Um, this is something my husband actually has teased me about. There's a couple that I like to watch their vlogs. Uh, they're from the mid, I guess that's the Midwest? Okay, they're from the Midwest. They're uh, a younger couple. I think they're in their 20s. They're mid to late 20s. And I'm gonna tag them in the description down below. Um, I don't watch every single one of their vlogs and my husband wants me to show you another barn. And farms. There's all kinds of farms around here because we live in New Jersey. New Jersey is called the Garden State Horses. And one of the reasons why New Jersey is called the Garden State is because the soil around here is amazing for growing things, except that the farms are ending up becoming places to plant Warehouse. warehouses and really poorly built modern new construction, which if you design your own house, and you've got a great builder and they're gonna take their time to build it properly, that's fan-freaking-tastic. But around here, it's just a builder and they slap them together in a couple of weeks. And that's because they just wanna reach minimum code. Honey, if you turn left, I can show you where I, do, where I go to yoga. I've seen where you go to yoga. Oh, you have? Apparently he's already seen where I go to yoga. Anyway, back to the budget thing, but there's this young couple. I watch their vlogs. I'm gonna tag them in the description. Um, and I'm, I'll even say their names. Ellie and Jared from Utah. They are usually very upbeat in their vlogs. They have two adorable little boys and they're very family oriented. Um, and as I said, I enjoy watching their vlogs and there's their vlogs. There's a couple of times when Ellie has mentioned their budget and, oh, hey, this is our budget. You know, we've got our budget taken care of for the month. And I would love to know what it takes to be a homemaker and able to do the budgeting thing. Is it something that she and her husband sit down together and they work on it together? Where do they get their financial advice from? So Ellie and Jared, if you 
see this vlog as random as it could be to have it in your life, comment or send an email because I'll have my email down below as well and just let me know because I need some really good advice so that my husband and I can sit down together and come up with a good budget so that we can get our bills paid, get, you know, on time, get everything paid off, however long it takes to do it. Hopefully we can get everything paid off in a, in a matter of a few months or maybe even a, a year, but we need help. <laughs> I can't believe I'm asking. <laughs> I'm asking Ellie and Jared for help. Um, I know that her sister, who she her 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 one sister Ruby, who does um, vlogging as well. They're called Eight Passengers. Um, I, I know that when she goes shopping, she uses something called an envelope system. I'm not sure what that is, but I guess that's much better than having credit cards. <laughs> I, I just, I really hope that they see this and help. <laughs> I need somebody help. All right. I know everybody probably knows who sings that. Anyway, as we drive around, because there's things that I would really actually like to be doing at home, like folding and sorting the laundry. As I said, I am a homemaker. I am a stay-at-home mom. And I want to be better at what I do. I need to get more organized at home. My husband works his butt off to provide for us. And I don't think I tell him enough how much I appreciate that. So, hi honey. I just want to let you know how much I appreciate that you work so I hard. I appreciate you. Even though I don't cook as often as I should. Don't answer that. Hi, sea monkey. Hi, sea monkey. Say hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. Say, God bless you, everybody. Bye, everybody. What? Say that again. Say... Um, um, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. <laughs> it's a, it, you left on Green Arrow only, honey. Sorry. A little bit of traffic instructions there. Say, it's Green Arrow. Say, have a beautiful day, everybody. Beautiful day, everybody. That's close enough. Well, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please click subscribe. And another shout out for Ellie and Jared. And oh, by the way, hi Daily Bumps. Hi Colin and Katie. <laughs> and who else do I watch? There's a lot. Oh, Dude Like Hella. Bye.